Sustainable self, finally. A way to help the planet without a scientist. Your cuddly, waddly bestest pal in the whole world has a little not so secret secret. You see, household dogs and cats have a serious carbon paw print. There are almost a billion cats and dogs in the world, eating a ton of food and generating a ton of caca, pardon my French and Spanish, and all that pet pollution leads to an environmentally stressed out world. But together, with a few simple changes to your daily routines, you and Abby Wabby or Fluffington Phillips can make a better home for everyone. First thing you can do, make sure your little bud is eating the right food. Cats and dogs eat meat-based diets, which are the most energy-intensive diets. They scarf down billions of pounds of canned meat annually. But research has shown that our pets can get all the nutrients they need from well-balanced all-veggie foods, like bunnies do. Also, buy in bulk if you can. It'll save you moolah and minimize packaging waste. And when mealtime rolls around, remember, don't overfeed. More than one-third of U.S. cats and dogs are overweight. Addressing the obesity epidemic will reduce demand of the meat industry and significantly decrease the supply chain's environmental impact. But the biggest surprise in this pet pollution piñata is the chocolate sprinkles. About 10 million tons of it a year. That would be delightful if we were actually talking about sprinkles. But it's poo. This stuff pollutes our waters, piles up in landfills, and can spread disease, parasites, and bacteria. When picking up after Buckeye, use a biodegradable bag. Non-degradable bags are basically like putting pet poop in time capsules. Not a fun gift for future generations. Dog waste can also be flushed, but not cat litter. It ends up in landfills, so choose a litter that is eco-friendly and biodegradable. Lastly, 62% of Americans have at least one pet at home, while millions of them end up in shelters. So instead of rushing off to a breeder, consider adopting or rescuing. You'll find their snuggles are just as good, if not better. We need pets more than teens need Snapchat filters. That will never change. So let's be the best cat dad or dog mom possible to help erase that carbon paw print.